Kevin was devastatingly handsome. There's almost an innocence about him that rather takes your breath away. He was a beautiful young man. I'm Carol Borden and Kevin Furness was my uncle. He was in the Royal Flying Corps and he died a hundred years ago this month. He went to Wolverhampton Grammar School. Um, the family came from Wolverhampton. But he was a caring, loving son. I think he enjoyed life. I think he had good friends. There was talk of war and he joined up. He went out to France um, and the great tragedy is that he was there only three weeks um, before he died. This is considered the average, about the average lifespan. You cannot believe that they went out there and their expectation was to live three weeks. It's something, a concept I find very difficult. My husband and I, John and I, felt that um, we perhaps needed to represent the family and introduce ourselves to Kevin. And of course at Cambrai, what is so interesting is it's a German war grave, but there is a British section to it. And it's not away in a corner or anything, it's actually a very clear section. And again, beautifully maintained. We realised that nobody had been to see Kevin for over 90 years. And it was a really very moving uh, thing uh, f for John and I to, to have seen. And um, it's, it's, it's had a very profound effect on us, how we viewed the First World War. I do think as part of any child's education these days that a visit to the war graves is a salutary lesson of the enormity of loss of life of young people. He was a charming young man and that, that comes over actually in his letters. That really comes over. My dear dad, yesterday I went for my first trip over the lines. When we got umpty miles, the other side of umpteen thousand feet. It was very cloudy and I lost the others and after tootling around a bit I thought I'd better try and find my way home. I howled with laughter when I found myself all alone, miles over Hanland, sort of all dressed up and nowhere to go and utterly lost. It's bright, it's cheerful, it's positive and I, I hope that that positivity went with him all the way.